Hey there, I'm Black Bright broadcasting out of the UK into your homes, onto your phones, wherever you are. If you like my channel, just like, subscribe, share. I just talk about so much stuff, you know. Today I'm talking about Jamaica again. Um, because I was just trying to think, you know, like when we send barrels over. I mean, for those of us who still do. I don't know if people still send barrels over. But you can imagine you're telling your family back in Jamaica. I'm going to send you a barrel and they tell their friends, boy, I'm going to get a barrel from America, you know, or I'm going to get a barrel from England. It's going to be full of nice things. You know, I mean, no say to go full of um, soap, um, you know, bully beef, um, what else do they know? All kind of toilet shoes, Redux, Dettol, toothpaste. Shoes, clothes, pack, and can't wait. When we, when we get it, me aga hustle it and sell a few things off and what don't fit, me aga get to so and so. And you get so excited, you can get a barrel. And then you go to the whole procedure, pay your taxes, pay your duties. And when you get the barrel and the customs officer tells you to open it up so he can check the contents, a pure old brock inside there, old clothes, mash-up clothes. And I'm not talking about the kind of clothes where, you know, they deliberately, you know, put a little mud on the bottom of the, of the, of the heel or, you know, they put a little something on the, on the clothes so teeth them don't teeth them i'm not talking about that i'm talking about all block all clothes you get a barrel and it's full of all clothes no food nothing it's almost like people them just whatever junk them don't want them fling it in the barrel and say yeah my best send that to jamaica them can't have it like they're strays like they're not used to nothing have to get rid of that mentality people don't send out in a barrel anything you wouldn't want for yourself. Can you imagine the excitement? Supposing it was you in Jamaica now, and your uncle or your aunt or your mother or whoever tells you you're going to get a barrel, and when then you open it, his dirty claws, re badly worn shoes, like them old Brock boot that we saw the other day on that video. I mean, nobody minds wearing second-hand clothes as long as it's in excellent condition. You know, some people have their clothes and they, they buy it and they wear it once and it's too small or it's too big or it don't fit them or whatever. And they say, okay, I'm going to send that to Jamaica. That is different. But when you're sending stuff back, that not even a charity company would want for the homeless. That's not good. And that is what people are doing. And you know, the sad thing about that is, is that the people who are receiving the barrel have to go through such a long procedure and pay 6,500 Jamaican dollars to pick up the barrel. And can you imagine when they open it after they pay, that's equivalent to like £38, £37 something. When they open it, after they pay that big money, and that's big money in Jamaica, and find his old block inside there. The more one kills somebody, you know. Can you imagine how frustrated and vexed and insulted they are? And I'm going to tell you people, you know, especially those of you who are sending barrels to Jamaica or to the Caribbean. It's not like you just send it and they can go and pick it up, you know. There's a procedure. So don't think you're doing them any favours. It's better if you're not going to send them nothing decent. It's better that you send them the money that you're spending to ship off the stuff. I mean, it's different. If, like the olden days, and they used to take a year or two to fill it up, 
and they put the toothpaste and they put them well I don't think you can put matches in these days but they put dental and they put all kinds of little bits and you know things that are reminiscent of England or America things that you can't really get in Jamaica some people even put a, a bottle of Ribena you know some nestles milk some carnation some tin food you know but more recently I don't know what kind of mentality people have they're telling people they're gonna send a barrel and they fill it up with junk or clothes that they've been wearing and they don't want anymore and they decide so well you know we just send it to Jamaica then we're glad for it like they're strays you can't do that have you ever seen anybody in Jamaica who is going to be appreciative of that kind of junk that you're putting in the barrel to send it over and the money that you're spending sometimes it's nearly 50 or 60 quid why don't you just send them the money doesn't make any sense and I'm gonna tell you the procedure when somebody goes to pick up a barrel what they've got to do okay first they've got to um, collect the shipping documents and that's from the shipping agent and then they've got to pay the relevant handling of freight charges so these people you know then get a notification you know we have a barrel for you and will you please come and collect the shipping documents goodness knows how far they are from the place that they have to pick it up from they will take bus and whatever they need to take because a barrel is coming from either the UK or America or Canada so they would take bus or they would take taxi or they would take anything to reach where they live and they probably have to go into into town Kingston or Montego Bay I don't know where they will go but you can guarantee it's not local it's not a place easy to get to so after they make that journey and pay the fee which they probably have to collect or even borrow they go to the warehouse that is storing the barrel and they pay the relevant storage and handling fees so not only do they have to pay handling and freight charges they have to pay storage fees as well and more handling fees then they present the shipping documents as security personnel at the warehouse and then once the barrel is located the barrel will be opened and examined by a customs officer and remember you've already paid the handling charges the freight charges and the taxes and whatever and after you've already, that's the time you open up to see what's in the barrel and when you open it and you see old Brock in there what do you do you must see red isn't it you must see red because I do, I tell you something if I was waiting for a barrel and me show off and tell all my people then look I can get a barrel you know I come from England I to come from America can't wait to see what's inside it and then you open it up and you see some old jacket rip-up jacket and like them old boots that was in that video the other day and some soiled underpants and tear up t-shirt and all that kind of stuff who wants that stuff do you think people are desperate and after the barrel has been examined the customs officer will place a value on the goods and tell you to proceed to the customs cashier where you'll pay applicable duties and fees and that time you depending on how much you charge for them I mean remember those three pairs of boots that they sent I don't think any customs officer would have a heart to charge any duties and taxes on that they couldn't have a heart but if they're mercenary and if they're ruthless they might even get a kick out of it and say you know talk to their friends about it and laugh and say why somebody send them people there some old walk some old work and then have to pay a customs charge 
So then you present your release order to the warehouse oper operator who will then issue you a gate pass. And they have to go to the delivery area with the gate pass and collect the barrel. And then they've successfully cleared the barrel. So all I'm saying, peeps, anybody who's thinking about sending a parcel or a package or a barrel to Jamaica or any part of the Caribbean, make sure what's in it is worth opening. Make sure it's worth the duty and the taxes that these people have to pay so that they can get their money back. Don't be heartless. Don't have this mentality where they're glad for anything. They're not. So just be considerate when you're sending barrels that what's in it is worth receiving. And would you, would you want it? The thing is, is that you're sending them stuff that you don't even want. So what makes you think they want it? And some people have this bad attitude, you know. They were glad for it. They were glad for it. As though people are bloody desperate. Nobody really. So, if you've received an unaccompanied baggage declaration clearance, a C27 yellow form at the airport, present this document with your passport and taxpayer's registration number, which is called a TRN, card to the customs officer at the warehouse. The barrel that contains personal effects, which includes food, clothing, toiletries, basic household items, or non commercial items, require payment of a minimum charge of 6,500 a barrel. And like I said, that is like 37 pounds, which is a lot of money to a lot of people. If you are clearing a barrel on behalf of a consignee, a letter of authorization signed and stamped by a justice of the peace must be presented. The taxpayer's registration number card and a valid passport of the consignee must be presented to the customs official. Any photocopied documents must be signed and stamped by a JP as well. And if you want any more information on that, um, you just go to the Jamaica Customs Office Agency, which is at Myers Wharf, Newport East, Kingston 15. And I have an email here, public.relations at jacustoms.gov.jm. Yeah, so, yeah, so just try and be a little bit thoughtful. No matter with um, this um, mentality where you think everybody's glad for it. Because like when people send stuff in charity, some, some of the things they put in that charity thing, nobody wouldn't want them. So, yeah, just think that it's somebody who needs to benefit from what you're sending. And it's not a question of them saying they must be grateful because you sent it with a good heart. If you sent it with a good heart, you'd have the heart to think, would I wear this? Is this something I would like to receive? Is this something I would like to travel miles for, pay duty on and taxes and handling charges and open it up to find? Would I be excited? Would I feel proud? Can I show my friends? What goes around comes around peeps. So that's all I've got to say. Bye bye.